Hello and welcome to our program, Let's Talk About Mental Health. Stress is a part of life. May advantage itong naibibigay at may mga disadvantages. Yan po ang pag-uusapan natin, yan ang talakayan dito po sa episode na ito. At makakasama natin uh, sa episode na ito, dalawang ma maganda, nagaganda hang mga bini-bini. Uh, we have Dr. Jane Butabaraya. Uh, she is a preventive health educator. She completed her Doctor of Public Health from Adventist University of the Philippines, Masters of Arts in Nursing from Monash University in Malaysia. She worked as a health director for Malaysia Adventist Mission in Malaysia. And currently, she is the chair for Public Health Graduate Department of Adventist University of the Philippines. Dr. Jane Yap, welcome to our show. Good morning, good morning. It's really good to be here. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. And then we have another resource person. Siya po ay um, Doctor of Medicine at nagtapos po siya sa UERMMC. And siya po ay Child, Adolescent and Adult Psychiatrist. Nagtapos siya ng kanyang Residency and Fellowship Training in Adult, Child and Adolescent Psychiatry sa UPPGH. Dalawang diplomate sa Philippine Board of Psychi Psychiatry or Psychiatry and Philippine Board of Child and Adolescent Psychiatry. Dalawang fellow or tatlo fellow ng Philippine Psychiatric Association or Philippine Psychiatric Association. Then fellow ng Philippine Society of Child and Adolescent Psychiatry. Fellow ng Philippine College of Addiction Medicine. International Fellow ng American Psychiatric Association, an international associate ng Royal College of Psychiatrists, an international member ng Royal Australian and New Zealand College of Psychiatrists. Ang uh, ini-introduce ko po ngayon, welcome po sa program, Dr. Jocelyn Joy Guanzon. Gayares. Gauson. Gauson. Gayares. Hello, ikinagagala ko naman na uh, maging part ng iyong uh, program ngayon. Ayon. Salamat sa pag-imbita. Thank you to both of you. Now, uh, pag-uusapan po natin sa episode na ito, napakarami, or hindi nga napakarami, almost every one of us ay biktima po ng stress. Di ba? Yes. Biktima. Tama ba, tama ba yun na yes. sabihing biktima tayo ng stress? We can say that. Yeah. Bakit? A ano ba ang stress? Well, um, we should thank Dr. Hansel for defining that for us. <laughs> um, he said that stress is a non-specific response of the body mm -hmm. uh, when a demand is made on it. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it can be physical or physiologic demands. Mm -hmm. I mean physical demands or psychological demands. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, dahil dyan, nararanasan natin yung mga pang-araw-araw na mga uh, stress. stress. But there's no stress if there's no demand. Okay. Oh, oh. However, is there any place here on this earth that there's no, no demand? demand. Oh, oh. <laughs> Meron daw sa simenteryo. Uh, oh, <laughs> kasi six feet below the ground ka na, wala ka nang ginawa. Yeah, wala ka nang demand. <laughs> so, um, given that, talagang magkakaroon tayo. It's part and uh, partial of our daily existence talaga yung makakaranas ng mga demands na to na stressors. Mm -mm. So, Ma madagdag yes, lang, no? makadagdag lang. Uh, ang stress is part of daily life. Mula pa lang pagka-baby, paglabas natin sa tiyan ng inanay, meron na tayong stress. Mm -hmm. Ang dahilan nun, according paglabas to... Paglabas ng nanay. Paglabas, paglabas ni baby. O, oh, kailangan niyang huminga. Stress oh, yun. Kaya stress kailangan niyang umiyak. Oh, Kung hindi siya iiyak, mm -hmm. hindi siya makakahinga, hindi magkakaroon ng hangin ng kanyang lungs. Mm -hmm. Unang-una na yun na stress paglabas niya sa mundong ibabaw. Mm -hmm. Ang studies have shown no, na ang stress is important dahil pag hindi okay. wala oh. tayong stress sa buhay, hindi tayo makaka-perform at it our keeps peak. you going. No? Yes. So, part yan ng ating buhay. Merong uh, study in 1902 by Yerkes and Dodson. Meron silang uh, inverted U na graph na uh -huh. pinakita kung saan pinapakita doon na ang epekto ng stress sa isang tao, pag masyadong wal, uh, pag walang stress, hindi siya makaka-perform well. Tulog mm -hmm. lang siya ng tulog mm -hmm. or wala siyang gagawin kasi wala namang stressor eh. Mm -hmm. Uh, on the other side naman, kung masyado namang stressful, hindi rin siya makapagtrabaho dahil masyado namang madaming uh, stressor. Mm -hmm. 
ang sa gitna, yun ang pinaka the best. Th that's Tamang when you stress, manage your stress. Yes, tama or, lang ang uh -oh. stress, tama lang din ang ating performance. Mm -hmm. Which explains why sa exams, mm -hmm. uh, sa schools, may exam talaga. Ayun. Sa pagtrabaho, merong attendance, may time in, time out. Mm -hmm. Dahil yun ang kinakailangan. So, stress is part of normal oh. life. So, Dr. Jean, mm -hmm. uh, salamat sa pag share ninyo. So, ang stress pala ay hindi lang negative. Mm -hmm. may, may positive rin na naibibigay sa ating buhay. Pwede po bang ma-share nyo sa amin, Dr. Jane, yung uh, iba't ibang klaseng stress? Mm -hmm. Yes, there are actually basically two major types of stress. Mm -hmm. uh, ang sabi ng iba, pag stress daw palaging negative. Oh, actually, oh, no. Yun ang, Big, <laughs> yun ang concept. Yes. Oh, misconception. Oh. That's right. Because there's a thing called you stress. Mm -hmm. And that is the normal kind of stress. You uh, stress. How do you stress. spell it? A-U-S-T-R-E-S-S. -S. Mm -hmm. You stress. You stress. <laughs> Um, basically, during this time, the body copes. There's a tiger right in front of you. Mm -hmm. the, the, the danger is real. Mm -hmm. May mga demands. Mm -hmm. May mga uh, wala ng pera at mm -hmm. the end of the month. Mm -hmm. uh, nasa kalahati ka pa lang. Mm -hmm. So you worry for that. Deadlines. You know? <laughs> yeah. Uh, hindi ka nakatulog. You've been traveling. Mm -hmm. um, and then you are coping with a, a recent loss of a loved one. Oh, yun, oh. Uh, na nakarinig ka ng uh, call from a doctor that your mother had a stroke. Mm -hmm. I mean, these are real things, uh -huh. you know, uh, final exams ng mga estudyante. So, ito so negative these are, stress ito. These are actually o normal occurrences. Normal, uh -huh. normal okay. occurrences mm -hmm. yan. And our body will cope mm -hmm. by uh, uh, secreting hormones, mga defense hormones natin, mga neurotransmitters, mm -hmm. para malabanan ang stress na to. So, the cortisol will go up, norepinephrine, epinephrine, everything will go up para matulungan tayo mag-fight or mag-flight okay. sa stress. Yun yung normal reaction niya. Oh, oh. The other side of the coin is when uh, over a period of time, the danger is now over. Mm -hmm. Okay, wala nang exam, natapos na. Mm -hmm. Natapos na yung presentation na kailangan mong gawin. But you keep thinking about it still. Mm -hmm. You cannot let go. It, ano it has been yun? eating you. Prolonged. That, yes, <laughs> oh, that's now the chronic stress, stress uh -huh. which we now call distress. Mm -hmm. At yun na yung negative. Yun mm -hmm. na yung nagkakaroon ng negative um, imbalance ang ating katawan na hindi na tayo makakatulog, nakakatulog, mm -hmm. yung blood pressure natin tumataas mm -hmm. na, na. There is a constant Ne Pag may pain. bodily reactions na yung yeah, ano lang yun na ating talaga katawan. Oh, oh. Negative na yun. Mm -hmm. So we are crossing between the acute stress, which is a you stress, mm -hmm. into the chronic stress, which is the dangerous stress. part of stress. Oh, oh. So oh. is it safe to say na ang happy, happy stress is you stress and yung negative ay uh, distress? I wouldn't say it's a happy stress <laughs> because uh, it's normal still, stress. It's normal stress. Normal stress. stress. Yeah, uh, it normal will be stress. So you oh. can function at your peak. Yes. At your best. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, sinasabi mo na merong nangyayari sa sa loob ng katawan natin mm -hmm. every time na mas stress tayo. Mm -hmm. Merong stress or na dumating sa buhay natin. No, may may nangyayari. Yun nga. Ako. Usually, pag meron akong stress or my stress or nag flashes. But aside from that, Doc, bakit nag flashes? What happens inside our brain and what ha happens inside our body? Ang hot flashes nga lang is, is something different. That's already part of menopause. Yan, yan ay ba na yan? So, ang normal stress or you stress, ang sabi nga ni Dr. you stress, mm -hmm. Ito ay eh, para makafunction tayo at our peak. Mm -hmm. So ang Diyos, ginawa niya tayo, nilagyan niya tayo ng sistema na tinatawag na autonomic nervous system. Yes, mm -hmm. Ang brain natin, specifically the part of the hypothalamus, siya ang nagdidictate sa ating uh, katawan kung yun ba na stress na iyon, eh dapat tayong tumakbo mm -hmm. away from or dapat tayong tumindig at... Uh, itupukin or i-fight natin yung stress na iyon. So, it makes us function at our peak. Yun yung sinasabi ni Yerks in Dodson na yung nasa gitna na klaseng oh, stress. Oh, oh, oh. So, ang mga symptoms na malalaman natin na dapat tayo yeah. eh, mag-function or mag-fight or mag-flight ay kakabakabahan ka. O, ito yung mga sintomas. O, ito mga ah, sintomas. Mga sinyales. No, mga sinyales. Mm -hmm. o, so, pag nag-stress ka, kakabakabahan ka, o hindi nga makakaramdam ka ng sakit sa likod, sakit sa 
uh, mga kasukasuan mo. So, yun ay para makadesisyon ng isang tao. Protective kasi yun eh. Nilagay yun ni Lord para protection from any danger. Alam natin kung dapat ba tayong tatakbo o dapat ba tayong lalaban. Ngayon, merong pag yun eh tumagal, yung stressor na iyon eh humaba, uh, maging chronic, yun na ngayon ang magiging anxiety, anxiety. disorder. Oh. Yun na ngayon ang distress, DYS, stress. Hindi na siya normal na stress dahil masyado na siyang matagal, hindi na siya hindi luma, lumampas na siya doon sa U curve na York and Dodson, lumampas na siya doon sa gitna. Kaya nagiging pabigat na siya sa atin. Mm-hmm. Ang symptoms actually of anxiety is just the same. Kung mas stress tayo, yung normal stress, you stress, ang autonomic nervous system natin ang nagfa-function, mm-hmm. pareho ren kung tayo eh merong anxiety disorder. So, mararamdaman din natin kabakaba, mm-hmm. uh, na, na mamawis, yung ating mga palad, ating mga uh, talampakan eh, na mamawis, yung ating chan, hindi natin maintindihan. Parang gusto parang, natin, nasa CR tayo parate. Or kaya may butterfly sa stomach. Oo. So, pareho ang mga nararamdaman natin, yun nga lamang, Uh, ang abnormal na siya, tinatawag na siya na anxiety disorder dahil dapat hindi na natin yung nararamdaman. Mm-hmm. Ang hot flashes is different naman. Something different. <laughs> Yan ay <laughs> sa pagtanda. <laughs> no, no. Um, ano, ano ko, Dok? Sa palagay ko, isa yan sinyal sa akin. Kasi iba-ibang ano tayo, eh. yes. iba-ibang pakiramdam. Ako pag na-stress, ako talaga nag... Uh, hindi siguro hot flashes, pero nag-perspire mm-hmm. ako. Mm-hmm. Ah, so, and, yun, yung autonomic yeah, nervous oh, system kasi, mo, nag hyper yes, oh, oh. mm-hmm. So, uh, for yeah, me... Magandang observation oh, 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 yan, oh, oh, ano, mm-hmm. Dr. Lane. Kasi, uh, kaya nga sinabing non-specific. Kasi there's no... A, B, C, D, E. Oh, Every, oh, everybody oh, responds to oh, stress oh, dif- differently oh, oh, oh. according to the genetic makeup natin, oh, oh, oh. according sa physiologic needs May natin. May ibang iba iba talaga. Mm, iba, ibang mm, nararamdaman. Correct. So, ang iba na, na stress, nag-aano dito. Mm-hmm. No? Uh, May mga cold sores. Oo, oh, oh, nag-crack. Yes. Yung mm-hmm. iba, uh, na stress, nawawalan ng ano? Buhok. Ng buhok. Mm-hmm. Hala! Nahuhulog. Yes. Naku, oh. mga kaibigan. <laughs> Pagkatapos yung iba, na stress, nagkaka-mouth sore. So, Oh, yes. iba, iba ibang iba, manifestation. Iba. Mm-hmm. Oh, pero tama yung, At yun, ma-explain natin dahil pag stress ang ating katawan, lalo na pag prolonged, ang immune system natin actually natutupok. Oh, oh, so, okay. bumababa ang ating mga defenses sa katawan. Mm-hmm. Therefore, mas prone tayo to infections. Gaya mm-hmm. ang cold sores, mm-hmm. ang uh, oral sores. Oh, oh. Yun yung mga infection kasi yun eh. Mm-hmm. Pag tayo din ay ang autonomic nervous system natin ang umaandar, ang sa tingin ng katawan, eh, kailangan yung lahat ng kanyang energy eh, ilagay sa mga vital organs. Mm-hmm. Ang buhok kasi hindi naman vital. Mabubuhay naman tayo kahit walang buhok. Mm-hmm. So ang tendency ngayon ng katawan, itatanggalin niya yung supply niya doon kaya nang lalagas ang buhok natin pag Ay. tayo eh, may chronic stress. Ay, oh. But I think uh, one of the, in addition to that po, mm-hmm. ano, uh, Uh, dapat malaman talaga ng isang tao ang kanyang tipping point mm-hmm. when it comes to stress. Okay. Because oh. gaya nga ng sinabi ni Dok kanina, uh, yung signs and symptoms ng normal stress mm-hmm. tsaka ng, ng distress ay napaka-tinang line eh. Oh, oh. Parang, how would you differentiate? Exactly. Oh. How, how would you differentiate? How would you know? So, oh, oh. Mm-hmm. so halimbawa, yun nga, yung, yung normal na worry na matatapos na ang, ang, ang buwan, wala na akong pera, and then you worry about that, that's okay. Normal. Normal yun. Pero, without any reason, and suddenly you are being worried, and mm-hmm. you cannot sleep anymore, mm-hmm. without any reason, kumbaga, oh, 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 okay oh, oh. naman lahat. But oh, oh. You, you keep on thinking negative thoughts, mm-hmm. and you keep on uh, having insomnia. Mm-hmm. Now, that, that is something that you need to be alarmed. Oh. Kasi hindi na yung normal. Yung mga panic attacks, you know, mm-hmm. you are just walking, and suddenly you feel like, nagpalpitate ka, 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 ka na, without <laughs> any reason at all. Oh, that oh. is anxiety attack mm-hmm. disorder na yan. Mm-hmm. So, it has to be more monitor talaga na iba na to hindi na to normal mm-hmm. ang iba pang klase ng anxiety disorder maari niyan pag 
Halimbawa, na si stress ka, ang iyong reaction sa stress eh maghugas ng manghugas or iwasan yung mga cracks sa floor. Mm -hmm. Form of anxiety oh, oh. din yon Ang tawag doon ay eh, obsessive compulsive disorder. Oh, oh, oh. So, yun naman ang manifestation ng kanyang pagkanerbios. Oo. Oh, oh. So, importante importante pala na ma-manage natin ang stress. Right. Mm -hmm. Kasi kung hindi, yun nga, pag malala, madistress tayo, it will lead on to anxiety and even depression. Ano Pwede. Definitely. Dahil And, ang anxiety disorder at saka ang depression, parehong neurotransmitter involved. Mm -hmm. So, pareho, magkapatid sila, kumbaga. Mm -hmm. And sabi mm -hmm. nga, too much stress or overstress eh, will lead to mental illness. Ano yes. uh, Doc, may mga treatment po ba? Being a psychiatrist, may mga treatment po ba? Para yes. sa ma ba? Napakaraming treatments. Hindi lang naman puro gamot ang mm -hmm. ginagamit namin. Mm -hmm. ano? Yung gamot na iniinom, kundi gamot na sinusulat mm -hmm. or gamot na ginagawa. So, number one, yung healthy lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Kasama doon, iwasan Ayun. na natin. O na mamaya, i-expound yan oh. ni doctor. No? Uh, pero kasama yun sa mga binibigay namin sa aming mga pasyente. Dapat wala ng caffeine, walang alcohol, mm -hmm. natural, walang prohibited substances. Mm -hmm. Dahil yun mismo ay nakaka-activate ng autonomic mm -hmm. nervous system. Mm -hmm. Number two, simple meditation and prayer can do the trick okay. of making us relax. Yung sabi nga uh, nila na pag ikaw eh, na, na nampalataya o kumausap sa Panginoon, eh nakaka-relax yun sa iyong katawan. So, That alone, auton, Yes. Oh. And yan, eh, research-based na. So, may mga researches na nagsilabasan na ang prayer pala at saka meditation ay eh, nagpapa... Uh, taas ng serotonin level natin mm -hmm. sa, sa ating katawan at yun eh nakaka-protective iyon from, uh -huh. from anxiety disorder. Um, pangatlo, kung talagang kailangan na talaga nila na uminom ng gamot, meron na mga gamot na safe, mm -hmm. safe for the entire body para matupok ang kanilang mga nararamdamang simptoma. So, yun lang. Kung talagang ano na, overstress na, that is the only time na pwedeng mag-take ng medication, pero uh, meron kayong prescription. Of course. So, kailangan pa rin nilang magpunta Oo, sa doktor kasi, para kasi sa doon. Kasi ang iba, hindi lang makatulog, or hindi makakain, ah, nai-stress ako, so umiinom, nagsa-self-medication oh, sila. So, bawal yun. May danger oh, yun. Hindi, ano, yun oh. hindi yun maganda. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, ang isa pa pala na very simple technique, yung breathing exercises. Uh -huh. So, simple na pag-breathe, ang um, breathing exercises is simply breathing three counts, uh, three seconds, inhale, three seconds, uh, hold your breath, and three seconds, exhale. Sige nga, Fifteen dok, times, gawin nga natin yan. Yan. Makakapag-relax na yon, So, oh, yung oh. makakaregulate siya ng autonomic nervous ano system mo. Ano nga po uli yun? So, three seconds, inhale, three hold seconds, hold your breath. 3 seconds, slowly exhale. Napaka-simple. Mm -hmm. oh, so, kung oh, ikaw oh. ay nasi-stress or nasa Nari harapan ka ng boss yung katawan mo, mo eh. yes. nagagalitan ka ng boss mo, na anxious ka na, nasi-stress ka na, ihinga mo lang yan. Kaya pala. Mm -hmm. Meron akong nakikita pagkaharap ako, <laughs> yan. Yeah. Nai-stress na yun. Nai-stress na pala sa'yo. Sa sa yes, Kaya Dr. pala Lina, parati sila na nag-breathing exercise. <laughs> Okay po. Right. Thank you so much, <laughs> Doc. Ngayon naman, uh, as a health specialist, mm. uh, a healthy lifestyle specialist, Dr. Yap, mm. ano yung, ma yung sinabi nga na through lifestyle yes. pwede mm. uh, yeah, ma-manage ang stress? Like what Doc has said, uh, ang ina-atake talaga niyan is straight away ang immune system. Mm -hmm. So, uh, autoimmune diseases may come in, cancer may come in mm -hmm. because of stress, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. uh, just because someone has died, you cannot cope and then it became a chronic stress mm -hmm. and then few years or few months, you also develop mm -hmm. autoimmune disease. So, uh, given hindi natin pwedeng alisen ng mga stressors na yan because we are still alive mm -hmm. and we are still on this earth. Um, What I would advise clients normally in my health education programs, for example, is that kailangan natin na sabayan ng healthy lifestyle talaga mm -hmm, mm -hmm. sa pagkain lalo na. You know? Oh, oh. Sa pagkain. Because the, there are immune boosters na tinatawag. Ano, ano yun? Ano, yeah. ano yung mga immune boosters na yun? Uh, what works for me is vitamin C. Pag grabe ang stress ko, I would normally take 2,000 mg of vitamin oh, C is that every safe, day. Though? I mean, that, that works okay. for me. Again, that, that works for me. 1,000 hindi ka mag pero pag may stress yeah. pero kung mag-work sa kanya oh, it works for yeah, me yeah. yeah and then uh, so 
as I, again, you need to know your body as well, yeah. the limit oh. that you can take, but it really works mm -hmm. for me. Uh, and then yung mga vitamin E, mm -hmm. rich foods, seeds, nuts, mm -hmm. dried apricots, mm -hmm. uh, those are really good. Uh, mga, ang mga serving sizes nila, konti lang, okay. you know, uh, mga a handful of it. You Pero know, enough na mga, yun para... Yeah, uh, I mean, it, it, it's immune boosters mm -hmm. na tinatawag. And then of course... Meaning the, it strengthens, it strengthens your the, immune system. The, the immune oh. system. And then yung mga... Um, yung mga beta carotene rich mm -hmm. foods okay. yung like? colorful uh -huh. uh, colorful vegetables potato uh, carrots uh, mga kalabasa uh, kalab <laughs> <laughs> yes squash yung mga deep yellow deep deep red purple uh, those are really good immune booster foods and then the uh, green leafy vegetables of course mm -hmm. yung mga antioxidant food na tinatawag natin now uh, when you eat all these whole foods and makakatulong talaga yan sa yon na mag Boosting immune system, it will not take away the stress, mm -hmm. definitely. But you are helping your body cope with oh, it better. Oh, oh. Mm -hmm. The secret is how to cope up, yes. to, uh, mm -hmm. how to deal with Correct. your stress. That's right. Okay. The other one uh, is the sleep. So, ang sleep so diet is yeah. very important. And sleeping. Yes. Oh my, oh. you know because. Our body self heals. Oh. Uh, given time, it will heal by itself. Eh. So, kailangan lang natin talagang pantayan yun. Kung ano man ang, ang binibigay sa atin ng Panginoon na self heal tayo, pantayan natin yun ng lifestyle. And one of it is really sleeping at the right time. And that is 10 o'clock, uh -huh. uh, 7 or to 8 hours. Uh, oh. Before 12, oh. talaga, oh. 2 hours Tama. before 12 midnight. Because all the hormones that are good, melatonin, cortisol, serotonin, mm -hmm. Uh, are being boosted up during 12 midnight to 2 a.m. Ang, 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 oh, tama yan, no? Na kailangan ng mga tao na stress uh, matulog. Yes. Kaso nga, na stress so hindi makatulog. Hindi <laughs> po ba? Ang technique daw na sinasabi, pag hindi ka talaga makatulog, just be regular. Mm. Doon sa time na pag-sleep mo. Kasi yung katawan yes. natin, ano ho, nadidiktahan natin. Correct. So, yung mga hindi makatulog dyan, Diyan lang kayo, basta, basta punta lang kayo sa bed, then pati train na raw yung That's true. katawan natin. And the thing is, it's a cycle kasi eh. If you cannot sleep, you are very sleepy in the morning, so you would drink coffee or tea or, you know, mga stimulants. But it's According to a research that I read, it takes eight hours for the caffeine to be washed down our mm -hmm. system. Mm -hmm. So, kung... Hindi ka talaga makakatulog. Kung talaga, uminom talaga, ka ng, yes. ano, ng ka caffeine. And before siya na wash off, mm -hmm. eh, meron na siyang mga effects. Correct. <laughs> bad oh, effects. Very negative ano lang. mga bad effects yun? So, yung sa ating brain, nagma-minus-minus na. No? And kaya nga kasama na siya sa substances that you can be addicted to. It overfires your dopamine pathway. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, ano masasabi nyo sa ating mga viewers na, uh, you know, nakaka-experience ng stress? So sa stress, dun sa mga nasa stress, number one ay idasal lang yan. Iluhod, wala ho talagang stress na hindi mawawala sa pagluhod. Second, healthy lifestyle po, kailangan po tayong kumain ng tama, kailangan po tayong mag-exercise araw-araw, kahit simpleng walking lang ho, araw-araw, makakatulong na ho yun mag po ng inyong immune system. Mm -hmm. Pangatlo po, kung talagang kailangan ho ng tulong, wag hong matakot magpunta sa psychiatrist or sa specialista, sa uh, guidance counselor, sa uh, clinical psychologist para ma-sort out po ang inyong ulo or ang inyong mga naiisip, ang inyong po mga problema at matutulungan po kayo sa inyong mga stress. Mm. Yes, Doc? Um, I know it's sometimes it's difficult to be positive, lalo na kung puro oh, negative oh, ang nakikita oh, oh, oh. mo sa kapaligiran. Mm -hmm. But it's a choice. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I know some people will have a hard time choosing to be positive and choosing to be happy. But um, I think it boils down to faith mm -hmm. that no matter what you're going through in your life, Somehow, there's always the sunshine after the, the storm, rain. after oh. the rain. Thank you so much, Dr. Gayares and Dr. Yap, sa mga informations na ibinigay niyo po sa amin. Mga kaibigan, makakasama naman natin sa segment 2 ng ating episode si Dr. Mylin Gamaraw at si uh, Pastor Prodimar Verso. So, wag po kayong aalis. Babalik po kami.
isang paglalakbay. Minsan mahirap, minsan ay madali. Subalit ang taong lumalakad sang ayon sa mabuting payo at ang kaniyang ligaya ay sa Panginoon, ay siyang tulad ng isang kahoy sa tabi ng tubig na nagbubunga ng masagana. Welcome back sa ating program, Let's Talk About Mental Health. Ito po uli ang inyong kaibigan, Lelaine Siron Alfanoso. At mga kaibigan, kaninang uh, first segment, napag-usapan po natin ang stress, iba't ibang klaseng stress, may eustress, distress, ano ho, at kung paano ang stress ay magdudulot ng mental illness sa atin. Ngayong segment na ito, pag-uusapan po natin ang mga preventive measures, ang iba't ibang mga strategiya kung paano mahadlangan ang stress na dumapo sa atin. Ano ho? And we are very much um, honored and pleasured and privileged to have with us ang chair ng graduate psychology and uh, she is a registered guidance counselor and siya po ay nagtuturo uh, both in graduate and undergraduate level at um, yung teaching profession niya at counseling profession ay umabot na sa 23 years. So mga kaibigan, I would like to introduce to you Dr. Mylene S. Gumaraw. Doc? Okay, thank you very much Ma'am Lalaine for inviting me. Sana makatulong ako sa segment na ito. Of course, yes, yes Doc. And mga kaibigan, another guest dito po sa ating segment, we have a spiritual coach, spiritual life coach. Siya po ay trainer and facilitator of different workshop and training events. Siya po ay care pastor of Life City Church and a volunteer coordinator of YouVersion Bible app in the Philippines. And he is a graduate long, long, long ago <laughs> of, uh, the, uh, of psych uh, psychology, no? psychology course ano? from Adventist University of the Philippines. Um, siya po ay uh, counselor. Mga kaibigan, si Pastor Perdimar Verso. Thank you very much, Lelaine, for inviting me here. I know that um, in one way or another, what I experienced in the past uh -huh. ay makakatulong sa Opo. ating mga tagapanood ngayon. Ayun. Alam ko na both of you ay experienciado when it comes to ano yun, uh, stress management. Mm -hmm. Kaya nga, inimbita namin kayo kasi uh, sa unang segment na pag-usapan namin na may iba't ibang mga tao na uh, na-stress. Na sabi nga ni Dr. Yap, uh, lahat actually ng tao ay nakaka-experience ng stress. stress. Pero ang, ang sikreto lang niyan ay kung paano mm. natin mamamanage mm. ang stress. That is the reason why we invited you. Kasi alam namin mga experts kayo mm -hmm. when it comes to you know, preventive measures and different techniques kung paano maiwawaksi, ma, ma, may iwasan ang stress. So let, mm. let's start off with Dr. Gumaraw. Okay. Um, ang stress ay kasama sa buhay. Mm -hmm. Just like what Ma'am Yap uh, mentioned this morning. At um, dahil bahagi ito ng ating buhay, hindi tayo makakalayo sa buhay na walang stress. So, kasi ang stress is anything that affects our emotion, mm -hmm. behavior, and thinking. Mm -hmm. Ang taong walang stress, yung taong six feet below the ground or those who are in the mental hospital. Why, why do I say so? Kasi they don't even know what stress oh, is. Oh, oh. So sila, free of stress, pero ang mahal nila sa buhay, yun yung nai-stress. Mm -hmm. So maraming paraan kung paano tayo makaka-cope up or marireduce at least yung amount ng stress. Mm -hmm. First is, we have to find our support system. Okay. So okay. sino ba ang support, support system, system natin? First, of course, is the first is the family. Mm -hmm. So the family should be the first source of our Uh, emotional support. Mm -hmm. Kasi kung okay tayo sa family, uh, malelesen yung ating uh, mga isipin sa buhay. Kasi alam natin na kahit anong mangyari sa buhay natin, andyan sila sa ating tabi. Pag sinabi niyong okay sa aking family, 
pa, paano nyo ma-elaborate yun? O, okay ako sa family ko. So, ano yun? Um, supportado kayo, sa, supportado sila, supportive sila sa lahat ng mga, mga, mga ginagawa mo or yung nurturing um, skills nila, yung love and affection, yun ba ang sinasabi mong okay ka sa uh, When family? I say okay, it has something to do with uh, interpersonal relationship within with the, the family. family. So, kung okay, kung maganda ang iyong relasyon sa iyong pamilya, magiging maganda ang iyong pakiramdam. Hindi ka maglilihim, hindi ka pupunta sa ibang tao upang doon ka mag-open up ng iyong emotion. Like for example, ako, mami ako, kung maganda ang relasyon ko sa anak ko, open yung anak ko sa akin. Mm -hmm. So, hindi siya tatakbo sa ibang tao. Uh -huh. Kung okay siya sa daddy niya, doon siya pupunta sa daddy niya. Now, bigyan ko kayo ng isang uh, uh, concrete example mm -hmm. na talagang nangyayari. Isa lang ang anak ko. Mm -hmm. Yung anak ko, pagdating sa mga paghingi ng mga bagay-bagay, punta siya kay daddy. Okay. Dahil tayo mga mami, alam mo naman, mm -hmm. may, minsan oh, kukontrol oh, oh, oh. tayo. Pero when it comes to pagsasabi ng crush, ng mga mm -hmm. nangyayari sa school, oh, kay mami siya. Okay. Now, come to think of it, kung ang bata walang tiwala sa akin at ako ay hindi maganda ang relasyon sa aking anak, mm -hmm. sa palagay niyo, saan pupunta ang bata? Sa saan siya magsasabi ng crush niya? Ay di, friends. baka pumunta siya sa friend, masulsulan pa siya. Oh, Crush mo, oh. sige, pwede na kayong mag-boyfriend. Mm -hmm. So, hindi magiging maganda ang kakahinatnan kung ang pamilya ay hindi maganda ang relasyon mm -hmm. sa bata. Okay, very well said. So, nag-start pala yan sa family. Sa family. No, it's a family. Kailangan mo talagang na, na, you have to make sure na okay, konkreto. No, ang ang pakikipagrelasyon mo sa iyong familia kung... Pero Ma'am Lalaine, hindi lang family kasi sa school most of the time ang bata ay nasa school. Oh. So, hindi naman pwedeng isama ang nanay sa school. So ang bata dapat marunong siyang makirelate sa ibang tao, like friends, teachers. Kung negative ang isip niya, negative din ang attitude niya towards somebody else like sa teachers, especially those who are in authority figure. So, kung ang bata hindi maganda ang foundation sa bahay, most likely, daladala niya yan kahit siyan siya pumunta. Okay. So, very good. Support, uh, support system, that includes the family peer as group. well as yung peer group and yung nasa circle and niya. And even in church. Which, oh, oh, which means yung church, yung kanyang uh, school, friends, etc., etc. Okay. So, support system. Then, uh, the, uh, Pastor Prudy, ano pa po ang uh, pwede niyong ma-share sa amin? Mga preventive, uh, uh, I mean techniques, strategies? I think, um, bago, uh, to go farther, uh, we have to recognize na mayroong mga different personalities ang tao. Yes, okay. Na oh, oh. Yung, yung personality na to, ito yung nag, nagbibigay, or uh, nagbibigay ng motivation or mm -hmm. kung ano man yung factor kung paano kung mag -re respond sa stress. Mm -hmm. Kung ikaw ay, uh, Kasi there are four types of personalities yeah, that I, I normally... Yeah, I am interested. Th Interesado kaming malaman yan. Yes, oh. that I normally uh, use when it comes to my coaching, when it comes to my presentations oh. and development. Kasi ito yung sobrang accessible, mm -hmm. accessible and at the same time madaling intindihan. There are four ano types yun? of personalities. The dominance, mm -hmm. okay. the influentials, uh -huh. uh, the steady personality, mm -hmm. and the, the corrective personality. Ayun pwede pong paka-elaborate dyan para ma-identify namin kung saan kaming personality. Okay. Ang, <laughs> ang dominant personalities are the leader types. Okay. Yung go, go, go. Mm -hmm. Go, go, go. And uh, sometimes they don't care about people. Mm -hmm. Kung ano man yung response, they just need to get their goal or the goal of the team where oh, they belong to. Okay. Yun ang mga influential, sila yung happy-go-lucky. Mm -hmm. uh, ang saya-saya ng buhay. Oh, Normally, sila yung less lang. stress. Mm -hmm. Oo, oh, pero yung dominant, a little bit stress. On the other hand, hindi nila na-recognize. Uh, the third type of personality are the steady type of personality. Sila naman yung, yung sige lang, okay lang, kalmado. Mm -hmm. And ang concern nila is we, we should be together always, oh, magkakasama, oh. support system, mahalaga yon mm -hmm. sa kanila. And the, uh, the th fourth personality is a corrective. Okay. Ito yung very detailed kung tumingin sa buhay. Ito the, yata ang grabbing stress nila, no? In a way, sila yung mayroong prone to stress. Mm -hmm. And they are prone also for in, uh, depression, yung, yung madaling ma-depress. Mm -hmm. uh, so, 
depende sa set ng personality. We're not saying that one of this kagaya ng mga corrective is a bad personality. Kasi meron din silang ano, uh, strength. Mm -hmm. At ang ang kala mo naman sobrang saya lagi, Oo, yung influential kala mo very relax sila lagi para ang steady, pero in a way meron din silang negative, may weaknesses sila. So we ang mahalaga dito is you need to recognize mm -hmm. who you are, what you are. Mm -hmm. Yung knowing yourself according oh, 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 to Socrates, mm -hmm. you, you need to know who you are and what you are so that you can, you can know how to manage your stress. Mm -hmm. Yun yung I, one basic thing I think that we need to recognize. Yeah, I think that is very important. No? Malaman mo kung anong klaseng personality mm. meron ka para mal alam mo kung paano mo yun mahandle. Yes. Oh. Uh, okay. And I strongly agree with uh, Pastor Prudy. Ang dominant, although dominant siya, uh, nakakatakot, mm -mm. full of stress, pero when it comes to work, ang dominant siya yung best. Ah, but when okay. it comes to emotion and interpersonal relationships, siya yung the worst. Mm -hmm. Kasi, Bakit? ang dominant kasi, wala siyang pakialam sa iisipin at damdamin ng ibang tao. Oh, For as long na magawa okay. ko yung gusto ko, at ito yung goal ko, mamit ko yung goal ko, I don't care what people feel oh, oh, oh. and say. Ang, ang kanyang position is, is lumuha ka ng dugo, dugo at bato, uh, dugo. basta ma-reach natin yung goal natin, kung, kung sa timan ito, or personal niya. So kung ganun, may classing personality, no, stressor siya sa ibang tao. Exactly. Diba? So ang maganda siguro nito, uh, kailangan na, natin ma-inform ang bawat isa sa ating mga listeners na uh, hindi lang ibang tao ang, ang pwedeng maging uh, stressor. Tayo, tayo rin. Mismo. And we should also know mm -hmm. what type of personality yeah, meron yeah. tayo mm -hmm. para Ah, uh, ano yan, matulungan natin yung ibang tao na hindi ma-stress sa atin, no? Yeah. <laughs> actually, actually, yung apat na yon, we have some amount of that. Meron tayo lahat yeah. noon. Okay. Kaya lang meron dalawang dominant, dominant sa atin. Alin doon ang dominant sa atin? So, may mga combinations yan, but there's no such perfect personality type. Mm -hmm. Lahat yan meron type, may strength and weaknesses like kung ako influential, uh, maaring masayahin ako pero deep inside may, very, emotional. very emotional ako oh. pero ang good thing niyan the best uh, in interpersonal relationship ay ito yung uh, influential mm -hmm. pero hindi siya masyadong okay when it comes to responsibility kasi ang kanyang priority is social okay yeah. so we all uh, okay po I, I just would like to add kasi there are three three A's of, of personality. So, uh, knowing this for personalities. Mm -hmm. Pag hindi natin nalaman nito, medyo tatagilid yung pag-handle oh, oh, natin oh, ng, oh. ng stress. Number one <coughs> is, you need to be aware of who you are and what okay. you are. Just oh, like oh, what you oh, said. Oh, oh, oh. You need to know ano yung, yung pinakamataas mo oh. na naklase ng personality. The second is, you need to accept it. Tama, Huwag kang tama. magkaroon ng, ng ano, uh, envy, personality envy. Uh -huh. O kaya, Personality insecurity, kasi Tama. yan yung binigay sa'yo ng Panginoon. Eh. Mm -hmm. Maximize the strength that you have. Right. Rather than be not satisfied with, with the yes. things that oh, you have. Yan ang maganda. Yeah, and then the third is adaptability. Mm -hmm. Meaning, uh, hindi enough yung sasabi mo, ah, kilala ko na yung sarili ko kung mm -hmm. ano ako. Mm -hmm. uh, so, ang gagawin ko, makibagay kayo sa akin. No. Mm -hmm. Makisama tayo. The Tama Tagalog of the adaptability, yes, makisama, makisama, makitungo, at Maki, maki bagay. I will take note of that. Maki sama, <laughs> maki sama, maki tungo, at maki bagay. Okay. These are very yeah. essential. Okay, very good. And that is part of SIR. Uh huh. What is ASR? Uh, yes, uh, smooth interpersonal relationships. Okay. Uh -oh. So based on social psychology, kailangan nating maki sama, maki pagkapwa tao, at maki bagay. Okay. Kasi kung hindi tayo maki bagay, parang sarili natin yung ating mundo. Okay. So Okay, so meron na tayong dalawa. Know your mm -hmm. personality, then uh, yung sabi mo, yung social, uh, yung support. Support, support Okay, number, uh, number three. Be realistic. Ayun, <laughs> be realistic. Oh. Okay. Kung hindi mo ma-achieve, huwag mo ng pangarapin. Okay, it's just like a chicken. Mm -hmm. Chicken have wings. Mm -hmm. But they could not fly as high as the bird. Mm -hmm. So, wag kang mag-aim ng mataas na hindi mo kaya. Mm -hmm. Dapat alam din natin sa ating sarili kung hanggang saan lang yung ating skills na kaya nating i-handle. Mm -hmm. Kasi, yung pag nag-set tayo ng masyadong mataas, high expectation, high frustration. Mm -hmm. And so, kapag nag-set tayo ng 
mataas na expectation na hindi naman pala natin kaya, in the end, we will be disappointed and that will lead into stress. Okay. Very well said. Yes, Pastor. Ano bang ating uh, masasabi? Dun sa be realistic. Oh, oh, oh. That is very, very real. Oh. <laughs> Sobrang real nun. Uh, you, need, you need to know again who you are, what you are. Ano yung capability oh, mo? Oh, oh. Hanggang saan yung limitasyon mo? Kasi pag hindi mo na iset yan, mahirap. And that's the reason why, in fact, in the book of Habakkuk, mm -hmm. pag si sinabi ni, ni Habakkuk doon, people without vision perish. Yes. Oh. So, you need to know the goal of your life mm -hmm. na realistic. And yun yung binigay ng Diyos sa'yo. Eh. Oh, oh. Ibig sabihin, alam ng Diyos yung cap capability, capability mo. mo. Oh. Alam ng Diyos kung hanggang saan ka. Mm -hmm. And mind you, the will of the Lord goes beyond. I mean, the oh, yeah. vision of the Lord for you goes beyond. Kaya lang, sometimes, nililimit natin yung sarili natin. Ay, uh, Ang mahirap doon, ang liit ng limitation natin, ang laki ng limitasyon ng Diyos, mm. kaya na-frustrate tayo. Nga. Tama yan. So, we need to set the vision of God in us mm. para less stress. Focus ka, alam mo kung saan ka pupunta. Alam mo kung ano yung gagawin mo. Mm -hmm. Okay. Naman, ano na naman ang sunod na ano, natin? Mga Learn techniques. how to say no. Ayun! Naku. Don't say yes Kailangan. when you want to say no. Kailangan ko yan. <laughs> Kasi patong-patong na yung appointment, oh. pagkatapos, yung, yung ating decision, yun din ang magkikreate sa atin ng a lot of stress. Oh, oh, oh. So, there's nothing wrong saying no mm -hmm. if there is a need for us to say no. Oh, oh. So, kasi we can do anything but not everything. Oh, oh. So, some, there are times that we need to decline some appointments, but because of Filipino values and social responsibilities, we tend to say no because of oh, oh. here. Yeah. Oo. So, yeah. kung ayaw mong ma-stress, learn to say no. Yes. Amang ta <laughs> tama yan. Yes. I, I'd like to talk, um, uh, Lalaine, to, to the working force here. Yes. Lalo na, of course, mm. mga viewers karamihan nagtatrabaho mm -hmm. sa office, mm -hmm. mga employees, or mga bosses, or entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. Sobrang halaga yung point na time management. All right. Oh, oh, oh. And set your calendars. Mm -hmm. Isa ako sa biktima niyan na hindi <laughs> nagseset ng calendar. Oh. Pero I really learned. Now that we we have all the access in the in our apps in different mm -hmm. applications mm -hmm. sa internet, sa gadgets natin, use it, use use that. Uh, Google Calendar is very useful. Mm -hmm. Kasi pag may nagtanong, tingnan mo kagad, uh, are you available? Look at it. Oh, 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 tama. Pwede. I mean, I'm, I'm saying oh, oh, oh. it probably in the most practical way that we can oh, oh. on time management saying no. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay, so mm -hmm. time management. Mm -hmm. Another strategy? Uh, get a hobby. Do something different for yourself. Para hindi ka nabuburo, no? Eh, hindi kasi ka kung work in the morning, buhay. work in during noontime, work in the evening, pag uwi mo ng bahay, may dala ka pang requirements. Pagkatapos, pag tumawag si anak mo, si hubby mo, busy ako, anak, pwede mamaya na lang. Nagtampo si anak, pagkatapos bukas, pag gising, hindi nagsasalita sa sa'yo, stress na malaki yan sa buhay. And so, dapat meron din tayong time frame. Kailan ba tayo kailangan magkaroon ng hobby with the family? Mm -hmm. With the family. Kasi yung personal hobby, pwede na man, like singing, mm -hmm. pero mas maganda na mag-develop ka ng hobby na kasama yung entire family. So, nakatipid ka ng dalawa, ng, I mean, natipid mo yung oras mo kasi time management, kailangan din para mm -hmm. makakope up tayo sa, sa stress. So, shooting two birds in one stone, uh, doing your hobby, and then at the same time, family bonding. Ayun. Eh, ang ganda na nun. Yeah. Nag-enjoy nag ka na with your family, and then malayo ka pa sa stress. Mm. Okay. Um, uh, Pastor, um, pwede po bang uh, uh, sabihin nyo sa amin kung paano yung spirituality ng isang tao makakatulong sa atin para maiwasan ang stress? Uh, spiritual factor of a person ay napakalaking role mm -hmm. sa buhay kung paano paghandle ng stress. Mm -hmm. Ikumpara mo ang isang tao na naniniwala sa Diyos sa hindi naniniwala Tama. sa Diyos. Oh. At sa isang tao na tutok or regularly reading the Word of God mm -hmm. sa isang tao na hindi. I'm, I'm not discriminating or I'm not putting down the people who are not reading mm -hmm. the Bible or not getting in touch with God. But it is very, very essential na meron kang 
knowledge that somebody bigger than you are handles mm -hmm. your life. Amen. Uh -huh. And that person, that, that being who created you that we call God has the manual mm -hmm. for you how to handle your life. Mm -hmm. And that is the Bible. Okay. Ngayon, pagbabasahin natin yun, eh, saan ka makakakita ng guideline? Tama. Kundi, sa salita niya. Mm -hmm. And that's the reason why in our church, when, when our members hear me say, I can never, ever overemphasize, it means I would like them to read the Bible. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm telling them to read the Bible. Mm -hmm. And that's how essential it is. Mm -hmm. Tayo nga sometimes na nagbabasa na ng Bible regularly, Nag naniniwala oh, sa tama, Diyos, oh, oh. nai-stress pa rin. Tama, tama, Much more so oh. yung mga hindi nagbabasa mm -hmm. ng salita ng Diyos. Mm -hmm. And I should encourage that everyone should read every day. Tama, Give, oh, oh. when you start, at least mm -hmm. five, five minutes yes. of the day. Ang isa kong tip, another tip is, do it in 21 days. Mm -hmm. Read the Word of God in 21 days. Kasi pag nag-21 days yan, magiging habit mo na yan. Mm -hmm. Hindi ka na mapapakali na hindi nagbabasa, mag nagbabasa ng Bible. I am endorsing also, if you have a gadget, download your version Bible app. Uh -huh, It's so uh -huh. easy to get access okay. to it. Uh -huh. And every day, it will give you the yes. verse uh -huh. of the day. I think I have that. Oh, thank uh -huh. you very much for, for using it. <laughs> uh -huh. So, napakaganda, no? Yung spiritual side talaga. Yung spiritual factor is very, very yes. important. And ho. That will serve as our daily guide mm -hmm. sa ating uh, everyday na ginagawa. Okay. So, um, talagang hindi natin ito may iwasan, but I am thankful na marami palang mga, mga pamamaraan. Ano ho. So, pwede po ba nating parang uh, social support pagkatapos you know your ano know your capabilities your personality mm -hmm. type and then yung uh, spiritual factor mm -hmm. do we have another uh, strategy yes uh, stress management technique we have what we call uh, um, reframing we oh, have to reframe reframing the mind reframing the oh. mind so we have what to what happens if you reframe your mind okay now we have to change the way we think Mm -hmm. Because if the thought is wrong, the feeling will be wrong mm -hmm. and the behavior will follow. So that's why mayroong mga tantrums mm -hmm. like kung college ka, nainis ka, may, may negative event. Mm -hmm. You interpret it as negative mm -hmm. and so you will feel bad. Mm -hmm. And so if you feel bad, the behavior will follow. So either magbang ka ng pinto or oh. hindi ka magsalita. So manghuhula na lang yung mga roommates mo. Anong nangyari dito? <laughs> so you have to reframe your mind. Mm -hmm. You can find negative, uh, I mean positive situation out of the negative event. Mm -hmm. Like for like, example, hindi ka pinansin. Mm -hmm. uh, baka busy or baka may problem siya. Mm -hmm. Pero pag ininterpret mo siya as, hindi ako pinansin, is na bero to. Oh, oh. So, pangit oh, na yung pakiramdam mo. Oh. So, mas maganda na palagi kang nasa positive mm -hmm. way of thinking. Paano natin magagawa yan? Mm -hmm. Sinabi ni Pastor, kung magbabasa ka ng Biblia every day at it will become your habit, then yung pagbabasa mo ng Bible, yung na-instill sa mind mo early in the morning, yun ang mag sa iyo para ma-reframe yung mind mo. Oo, oh, oh. Napaka, napakaganda no? na kahit ng... Uh, ang stress ay part ng life natin at uh, talagang nai-stress tayo pero may mga iba't ibang mga preventive uh, measures, mga strategiya at maraming salamat at naibahagi niyo yun sa amin ngayon hindi na mo problema ang ating mga viewers ano ho, every time na makaharap uh, sila ng stress or stressor Now Dr. Gumaraw mm -hmm. uh, any parting words for, uh, for our viewers? Well Um, to combat the stress to combat the stress ang um, isang maganda na makapagbibigay sa atin ng motivation para mag ma, ma overcome natin ang mga stressor natin sa buhay is magkaroon tayo ng positive thinking mm -hmm. at magagawa lang natin yun sa tulong ng Panginoon gaano man kataas ang ating IQ ang IQ, mm -hmm. ang katalinuhan natin ay Has minsan siya pa it. ang nagdudulot upang tayo ay maging stress. So, we have to stop stressing. We have to start a living. Wow. So, when we stop stressing ourselves, we might be able to start living well. Mm -hmm. So, we can think well for us to live well. Okay. Thank you, Dr. Gumaro. Yes, Pastor. Uh, my parting words to our viewers is, number one, 
set the vision that God has given to Amen. you. Don't mm -hmm. ever forget that. Pag meron yun, focus ka, lahat ng stressors mo, tatanggalin mo. Ikaw my choice. And third, know yourself the way how God created you for who you are because He trusts you and He loves you. Wow, very well said, Pastor Prudimar Verso. And that sums up our episode dito po sa ating programa, Let's Talk About Mental Health. Ito po ang inyong lingkod, Lalain Saron Alfalo. So, nagpapasalamat po.